Hello and welcome to Chugging Along, I'm Tim and I'm Sam. So thank you very much for your comments on our last video where we chugged through the Harecastle Tunnel and made it to the town of Stone. If you're new here we're on a long narrowboat trip from Halston Junction to London and in today's video we will be cruising from Stone to Great Hayward Junction on the Trent and Mersey Canal. You'll want to stick around in this video as we save a narrow boat that was stuck on a shallow <laughs> section of canal and also we see a very familiar cushion. We're also very excited to be in this month's Waterways World and in Towpath Talk. Look at Sam on the front cover there. We want to give a shout out to David Meisner and family who are photographed here playing our new canal board game Argy Bargy. And we want to give a big thank you to everyone who's bought Argy Bargy so far. And if you'd like a copy of your own, there's a link in the description below. So let's get started with today's cruise. We are in Stone. This was where we discovered the local culinary delight of Staffordshire oat cakes. For breakfast, we decided to have them with cheese, bacon, egg, and ketchup, and folded in half. Delish. After that hearty goodness, we set off from our moorings that were in the north of town. We like Stone and it seems to be a popular narrowboat destination on this section of the Trent and Mersey. Bye Swans! Bye-bye. It was nice to get a warm welcome, despite the fact that we were actually leaving. This wharf has a miniature railway. Would have been good to see that going. There are a few locks in Stone Town Centre that we had to tackle. There are the services on the right. This looks like an old brewery here. It doesn't look like it's still in use. Hopefully one day it will come back. Whilst we were waiting at a lock, we saw this piece of canal architecture. What 
would you call it? A boat shed? A boathouse? Either way, it is stunning. These moorings here are closer to Stone Town Centre and they were popular. That is a beautiful paint job. We were now back in the countryside where we made it to Lexus House. It's not actually called that, I'm just saying that because it had two Lexuses outside. It was in a nice peaceful setting next to Aston Lock. This is Aston Marina. Don't mind Sam's phone getting another bride book notification. That's the app she's using to keep on top of wedding plans. We weren't even engaged then. with a cow thrown in for good measure. Here's a piece of immersive camera work. Enjoy. Time for tea on what was turning out to be a relaxing cruise. Oh, wait. What are they doing? Yeah, you want to go back, you don't want to get caught in that sandbank there as well, you know. It became clear the guy on the left was stuck in a shallow section. He asked for help and we tied Mary L to his boat. We were going to give it some welly. Yeah, we'll give it a go, yeah. 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 No, of course not. How long have you been stuck there for? How about going below? Just for the race, right? Ah, right. You won't remember me, but it's a knockdown. Well, they throw water. I'm not like anyone. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Okay. And then he wants to pull you forward, uh, pull backwards. We go forward. Go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna moor up there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go a bit shorter. Just don't go in right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. You're welcome. <laughs> we can try. All right. Across, so like that. Oh, way, so yeah. to sort of bring you out. Yeah. yeah. Got so you, go right. towards that direction. Yeah. Are we stuck? There is the cushion there. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait a second, he's still with this stuff as well. It's okay! Come and say hello. We bumped into Judith and Dave, the winners of one of our narrowboat quizzes. So far, we have met Malcolm Sue, now Judith and Dave. We just need to meet the Northern Narrowboaters on Wakanoi to have met all three quiz winners. Hopefully, we'll bump into them. We are <laughs> Judith and Dave have a beautiful, brand new, shiny narrowboat. There is a field of bulls. We definitely didn't want the engine to fail there and then to drift over. We then moored up for the night at this really nice spot on a corner with beautiful views. Is that our favourite Norwegian subscriber, Morten, in that helicopter there? This ended up being our favourite mooring on the Trenton Mersey Canal, but we only stayed for one night. We set off the next morning and saw our favourite celebrity narrowboat couple, Rosie and Jim. Look at the Rosie and Jim. So good. Hi there. <laughs> it was a pleasant day in August with not too many locks to do.
This is a real narrow boater's shed, fitted out with a multi-fuel stove and a porthole. This is Western Wharf. Here's the final lock of the day, Who Mill Lock. Look at this secret mooring area here. This is where the Hobbit narrow boaters live. This is Great Hayward Marina, which is famous for buying and selling boats. And just like that, we made it to Great Hayward Junction. It was time to fill up our water tank. It's an important junction on the system. We were taking the simple option though, of just going straight on. However, if we were to turn right, we'd get to Stafford and eventually to Birmingham and Wolverhampton. So that's the end of today's cruise and sorry we broke our promise to feature our Rougie Diaries in this week's video but they will make an appearance in our next cruising vlog. But for now, Tim, it's over to you for those all-important cruising statistics. Okay, thank you very much <laughs> Sam. So uh, over the two days we did 11 miles and 8 locks and that was all in 9 hours thus giving us an average speed of 1.2 miles an hour. That now means our trip average is also 1.2 miles an hour and we are approximately a quarter of the way there. We have done 52 out of the 205 miles to London. Join us next week as we show you our trip to Boat Life Live at the NEC where we get to see a variety of boats on display and also meet fellow narrowboat YouTubers. So thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end and remember, no matter what you do in life, you've got to keep chugging!